In this video, we're going to take a look at grayscale color separations with the transparency tool merge modes in Corel Draw. Very easy to do and they can be done very quickly and accurately. There are some advantages or benefits to printing grayscale as opposed to just simulating all the gray with black halftone dots. One of them is, is that you'll be printing the gray as opposed to simulating it with black halftone dots. And the other one is, is that the grayscale halftone dots will be bigger than just black halftone dots that simulate the gray, which will make them easier to expose and easier to screen print with. And we can take a look at that here. And here's an image of Marilyn Monroe, and I've already separated this to grayscale with halftones. Now, it doesn't look very good because it's one-bit images in Corel Draw. Here I've bitmapped the halftone preview, and we can see how accurate it is to the original art here. Now here is just black halftones. Zoom out. And I'm just going to bring this over here and duplicate it right there. Left click, hold down, right click one time to duplicate. We'll zoom in and take a look at the difference here. And if we come right in here to the cheek area, we can see that the halftone dots are very small. But if we look at the grayscale and come in here, we can see that the halftone dots are much bigger. We're going to be much easier to expose and burn screens with as well as halftone printing and the simulation of the gray is not dependent on black but is the actual gray. So to get started here we're going to take a look at how we work with the merge modes from the transparency tool in Corel Draw to create our grayscale color separations. Here I have the black. The black I created by creating a rectangle that's exactly the same size as the bitmap and if I set this to normal from divide, you'll see there's the gray. I'll change that back to divide, and I'll get my pick tool, hold down shift, select Marilyn, hit C and E. Now that divide, what it did is it took all of the color value in the grayscale or the black value that was less than 50% and removed it from the image. It's gone. So now I've got everything that's 50% and above the black. It's been divided. Now here I've got the gray color separation. Now for that I used a difference blend mode over the image. Now what the difference does, set it 50% also just like the divide. What the difference does is it takes anything that's above the 50% and turns that into a black gray and anything that's below it becomes the 50%. So then we bring in another divide lens, and that becomes our gray. Then we take what would be our black here, and we go with a difference set to white on top of that to make our white base. And I'll hit Control Z, and that would be our white base. So you can see the grayscale color separations are very easy to do, working with the merge modes, which are like the blend modes in Photoshop in Corel Draw using vector objects on top of our bitmaps with the color set at 50% black and then applying different merge modes to get our separation. So I'll zoom out here and I'm going to grab a copy of the original. Just bring this down here and duplicate it. Next thing I'm going to do is go to my Smart Fill tool and I'm just going to click on the image of Maryland, that'll create a vector rectangle, the exact shape of my bitmap. I'll come up here and right click in the X or the slash in the color palette to remove the outline. I'm going to change that to a 50% black fill or 128, 128, 128 RGB. I'm going to go to my transparency tool. I'm going to change that to divide. Now what I just did is I just divided that image at the 50% black mark. So any black that's below 50% was removed from the image. Now I'm going to want to duplicate this a couple of times. Both the image and the vector layer that I applied the merge mode to to continue in my separation work. So I'll hold down Alt and just slide across there and I'll get both of my objects. Left click, hold down, holding constraint. Right click one time, that'll duplicate that and I'll hit Control R to do that again. Now here I've got my black and here I want to get my gray. So I'm going to make a change here. I'm going to zoom in here so we can see how we're working here. And I'm going to take this overlay 
that was set to divide, and I'm going to copy it because I'm going to need it in a minute at the 50% value. Because I'm going to take this and I'm going to change this to difference. Now what difference does is it takes everything that is above the 50% and changes that into a black color separation gradient and anything below it is at the 50%. If I want to get rid of the 50%, I just come up here and I paste that divide back in and there I've got what would be my gray separation. Although it's black, I'm going to half tone it and print it with gray. But that's the gray separation. Now here, where I want to create my white base, I could use just the black and invert it, which I'll probably do. But if I wanted to make one, I could just by keeping that divide on there and then go to copy, paste, change that to white. And that's going to show us whatever is white is going to turn black. When I change that to difference and there's your white base and you can see how that works and there's my grayscale separations white base right here grayscale black very easy very quick to do using the merge modes in the transparency tool in Corel draw the next step is going to be converting our separations to RGB maps so I'm just going to hold down alt left click sweep across there that'll select all three of those objects in the separation Go up here to bitmaps, convert to bitmap, RGB, no anti-aliasing, no transparent background, select OK. The same here for my gray, Alt, just sweep over that, select all three objects, bitmap, convert to bitmap, 300 dpi, OK. And the same for the black, holding down Alt, just sweep across that, bitmaps, convert to bitmaps, and select OK. Next thing I'll do is start doing some half toning here. So I'm going to start with the black because that's selected. I'm going to want that interlocked. I'm going to use simple steps here. I'm going to convert that to half tones. Now, once that's finished processing, I interlock the half tones on the black. But I'm going to go to the white and I'm going to deselect interlocked. And the reason being is because I want the black to interlock with the white to seal out any color that could come through from the garment in my grayscale print. So I'm not going to interlock this. When you're interlocking, you're only interlocking one of the two colors. The white base and the black, or if you're blending a red and a yellow, you'd only interlock one of the two colors. I'm going to convert that white base to halftone. Now once that's finished, I'm going to check my interlocking. I'll hold down shift Select the black, hit C and E. I'll just click off and then click again and select the white base, which would be right there. I'm going to minimize simple steps and make that a red. And I can see that that is indeed perfectly interlocked. If I zoom in, the halftone dots are perfectly interlocked. So I've got a good interlock between the black and the white base. The white base, I would just take and send order to back of page right here. And we'll right click and make that a white. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my gray, go back to simple steps. I'm not going to interlock that either and convert that to half tones. Once that's done, I'll minimize my simple steps. I'm going to take this gray, go up here to the 50% black and right click because that's a monochrome bitmap. Hold down shift, select the black, C and E to center. Zoom in and take a look. Everything is all perfectly interlocking. Got the white base, the black, and the gray. Now just zoom out a bit here. Maybe zoom in a little more. Maybe I'll go to the zoom tool and pull out and just make some room here. Like that. Hold down Alt. Select everything here. Create a duplicate. Go back to my simple steps. And bitmap my halftone preview and we can see how that looks then I'm going to zoom out here get a copy of the original image bring that down here go to my zoom tool and then we'll lasso in and take a look at our accuracy and we can see we're extremely accurate with very easy grayscale color separations in Corel draw working with the grayscale image the vector 
objects on top of our bitmap and the merge modes from the transparency tool in Corel Draw and converting to halftones. So you can see how easy this is to do. You can go through this a few times and you'll be able to master it in no time and use it when you need to. We'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.